Elon Musk is not a fan of Joe Biden? Let's find out. I feel like a lot goes around in the playground of these extremely rich and powerful people. I mean, just look at Elon. He recently accused the president of America, Joe Biden, of targeting him in his SEC campaign. The details and start of this apparent feud are what we are discussing today. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has accused the SEC of a harassment campaign. In a court filing, the billionaire says that the Securities and Exchange Commission has engaged in outsized efforts to monitor the firm that seemed calculated to chill his exercise of free speech. Mr. Musk's lawyers claim that his client was being targeted by the SEC because he is an outspoken critic of the government. The CEO believes the SEC is investigating him to shut him up. Sounds ridiculous, right? But there does seem to be some evidence of that. Let's look into that. The complaints are part of Mr. Musk's attempt to recoup the $40 million the SEC allegedly owes Tesla shareholders. It all started back in 2018 when Mr. Musk tweeted that he was taking Tesla private at $420 a share. While the tweet was meant to be a marijuana joke, reportedly meant to impress his now ex-wife Indy Rocker Grimes, the government took him to task for misleading investors. Ultimately, Mr. Musk was forced to agree to a consent decree, and the SEC collected $40 million in penalties from Tesla stockholders as part of the settlement. Mr. Musk's attorney claimed that the SEC is still enforcing the consent decree without the supervision of a U.S. court, a condition that was included in the original settlement. In the legal filing, Mr. Musk's lawyers point out that the SEC has not once come before your honor to seek discovery concerning compliance under the consent decree. The attorneys then accused the SEC of having gone rogue and of having unilaterally opened its own investigations. The SEC has conducted these investigations wholly outside of this court's supervision, the filing claims. According to the consent decree, Mr. Musk must consult a lawyer before sending any tweets about Tesla. Man, that must be hard for our man Elon, considering how much he loves tweeting about anything and everything. In mid-November, Mr. Musk launched a Twitter poll asking if he should sell 10% of his stake in the company. The SAC then compelled the company to determine if it had been in violation of the consent decree. Mr. Musk's legal team claims the SAC jumped right to subpoenas without first seeking discovery in order to determine whether any violation had occurred. It does make sense, though. Mr. Musk's lawyers claim that the SAC's continued enforcement of the consent decree is being used as a muzzle for the CEO who frequently criticizes the government, often from a conservative position. Despite being a bit of a bomb thrower, Mr. Musk is generally sensitive to criticism. In 2018, the same year he made the 420 tweet, Mr. Musk tried to live up to the idea that he is the real-world Tony Stark by utilizing Tesla engineers and a tiny submarine to rescue a Thai boys football team that had become trapped inside a cave. When his plan was laughed at and labeled as a PR stunt by Vernon Unsworth, a diver who helped to rescue the boys, Mr. Musk obviously became defensive and, after a back and forth, ended up calling Unsworth a pedo guy. That comment inevitably resulted in a defamation lawsuit. Mr. Musk has also been scuffling with Tesla short sellers for years, going so far as to make pairs of red Tesla shorts to mock his detractors after the company surpassed Toyota as the world's most valuable automaker. In November, Tesla began selling a Cybertruck-shaped stainless steel whistle, saying buyers could use it to blow the whistle on Tesla. The obvious whistleblower joke is likely a reference to workers and former workers who have talked to the press and the government about allegedly workplace safety issues at Tesla factories. Unfortunately, though, for Mr. Musk, he cannot just meme away the SEC. The consent decree Mr. Musk and Tesla are focused on in the court filing has no expiration date, but could be thrown out by a judge if both parties are found to have violated its terms. Both parties have accused each other of violating the terms of the decree. The SAC said Musk violated the agreement when he failed to seek a lawyer's approval for a tweet discussing solar roof and vehicle production numbers. Musk has claimed the SEC failed to pay Tesla shareholders the $40 million the agency collected in the 2018 settlement related to his tweeting. The SEC said it has taken time to develop a plan given the complexity of the distribution, and it has plans to submit one to the judges by the end of March. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, this wraps up our video for today. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that Musk is really being targeted by the president? Do you guys think this evidence is enough proof for it? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this.